Okay, here is a Microsoft safety scanner I run across through an email. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just download it, 64-bit. You can uh, see what you have by going into Control Panel and then System. If you have a 32 or 64, go to Control Panel and System. And mine's right there, 64-bit operating system. <clears throat> this works on all windows. Just control panel, then go to system, and it'll pop up, and it'll tell you one way or the other. While we're downloading this, I'm going to push pause, and then we'll come back to the video once it's downloaded. Okay, it's done. Um, to you, you know, it seemed like a flash, but to me, it was about four minutes. So we click on it and we let it install. My screen might flicker a little bit here and there due to the fact of the RAM usage it might take. Okay. We'll just run it. We can minimize this for now. Enjoy the great wallpaper I have. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic, but it is good wallpaper. I am actually running Windows 7. We'll accept the preceding license agreement. It's actually all terms. Anyway, this tool is not a replacement for anti malware solution. We know that. We're going to do a full scan. You can, you know, customize your scan, go to the choose folder, and all that good stuff. We'll do a full scan to see what it comes up with. Now, if you've noticed, it's not really installing nothing. This actually runs. See, it's already scanning. I mean, it's it's already running. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty fast. It just, I think, you know, takes what three, four minutes to download. But as you can also tell, I have one of the best made, and that's Millware Bytes. I have the paid version right there. I think for what it does for the price, 25 bucks, it's one of the best. That's why I'm trying this one out, you know, just to kind of see the comparison. But I don't think there's no comparison to it. I don't care what anybody says. Malware Bytes is one of the best. Even the free version is uh, pretty, dang, pretty, pretty good. Because on the free version, instead of having like what I got right here, sitting here running in the background you have to actually go in click it manually start it like this which is fine it still does everything it needs to be what I have here I know I get on a topic of totally different from my Microsoft safety scanner wow 34 days been a while since I've updated but uh it's a live version it's kind of like as you can see I got Microsoft security essentials and Norton 360 Premier Edition. And it's raining outside. Hope I don't lose power. That would not be good. Now once Mower Bytes updates, it automatically opens. And I'll show you what I was talking about. The protection it gives you with the $25 one-time fee. It's not $25 a year. It's not $25 a month. It's $25 in the story. It's yours. You go to protection and you get this here. You get start protection module with Windows, file execution blocking with protection module, and yada yada yada. This does pretty good. Now you can sh the show tooltip balloon with molecules. Well, website is blocked. You can actually turn this off. You can go to your scheduler. You can schedule when this does this your scan. I got it set for monthly because. Usually I run it anyway, and plus I have Norton and Microsoft Security. This here is for more of the ones that kind of get through to them. And as you can tell, it's done its job. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And this was November 16th. Let's see. Nothing. So it's it's doing very well.
detecting job so I want to compare this to this which like I said I don't think there's gonna be no comparison even though you get the quick scan full scan and a flash scan the flash scan will analyze your memory and auto run objects it's only available for licensed users that's one of the scans you get okay go away but I'm not going to do that right now with all this other stuff running um, now I don't know if this is going to do it. I mean I know it's doing a full scan but I don't know if it's going to do a full scan versus both hard drives since I do have two hard drives with one and a half terabyte I'm going to make this video a little faster by pausing it 